witches today I am back with a unboxing so this is from a tarot trade so I'm gonna cover up our addresses but there it is ah, I have not opened it yet I'm very excited um there's a tarot swap group on Facebook um, so I had put some stuff up there um, I still have a few things to swap so um, I swapped this one and it came in today so that's awesome or I swapped one and I swapped the Illuminati tarot because I just I just wasn't connecting with it. So uh, hopefully this one I would like. We shall see. All right, so I'm gonna cut it open. It came all the way from the U.S. I was actually surprised how fast it came. It came. It was. Um, I guess it took about a week, just over a week, which is not it's not too terrible. So I'm excited that that. Hopefully I'm not cutting anything that's in there. All right, there it is. It's all nicely in the bubble wrap. So I knew. Oh, oh, there's other things in here. Oh my gosh, what the, what the? Oh, it's the box. Okay, <laughs> I was like, there are other things in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, alrighty. Okay, so I think that's everything out of the thing. And something fell. Oh, there's like a little bag in here too. Oh. Okay, all right, and oh, there's a note. Yay, there's a note. I think I think mine. I just stuck the thing in, but okay. Uh, oh, there's a lovely little poem here. I don't know if she wants me to read it or not. So uh, you know who you are. Thank you so much. This is so nice. There's like a nice little like a little blessing in here. It's really really nice. That's what's in there. Okay, awesome. All right. So I was wondering what's it was in the little bag. Okay. All right. I'm all like discombobulated and excited. Where's the little bag? Where did I put the little bag? Oh my god. Oh, okay. It's right here. Awesome. It's not a loss. Okay. So in here, there's a little bag, and in here is, um, there are perennial wildflower seeds, which I'm totally planting in my garden. Um, and a lepidolite stone for self love and heart healing. And I love lepidolite. Okay, I'm gonna. To get the lepidolite out. Da -da. Oh, look at it! It's so cute. It's like a little there. It's the purpley stone. It's so nice. So I'm totally keeping this stone with this deck, which is awesome. And thank you so much. You know how you who you are. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say your name, but thank you so so much. And there's like a nice little, and then there's the wildflower seeds, which I'm totally planting in my garden. I have to wait though here until after May long weekend, which like our Victoria Day weekend's the 18th this year. But the I've always been told by my mom, wait until after the May long weekend before you plant anything because it'll always get colder. So thank you so much. Okay, so I'm tying this up so that we don't lose any of the wildflowers. So thank you. That's so awesome. Totally unexpected. And thank you for the lovely note. That is so wonderful. Oh my gosh, happy spring and merry building. Oh, so nice. Now I wish I put a note in. I just put the box in and was like, there you go, box into the world. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So. Um, this is the tarot. Now I knew, I knew the, this, you know, obviously it's trade, so it's used deck, but, um, didn't, you know, the, the little white books are, I don't care. Cause you know, who needs those things anyway? Um, and the, the box, you know, is not in the greatest shape, but that's okay. Cause the cards are the part that counts. So this is the Ibis tarot by, um, Yosef Machinka, Joseph Machinka. And it is, is this a U.S. Games? I'm not sure. Uh, printed in Switzerland. Oh, so I've never, I don't, I don't know this company. Okay. So I was really interested in this because I love Egyptian things. Um, and I do have an Egyptian tarot deck, but, um, it's, you know, it's, it's older or whatever. I'll probably show it in another video, but I'm really interested in Egyptian things. So this is, so here we have, uh, judgment. We have resurrection from death. gonna go through just go the, there's the five of scepters so it's definitely got like a Wiccan bent to it as well it looks like a little bit of it's very Egyptian though uh, this is the one of scepters oh I should show you the back this is the back it's got Thoth on it Thoth Toth however you pronounce it I say Thoth um, anyway he is the Egyptian god of writing knowledge and magic uh, very very important god and uh, one that I really love so love that the scepters obviously the wands and you've got the there's the three of cups. They're kind of a little bit longer and narrower, I'd say, than most tarot cards. Oops, 
another one we have the slave of scepters i think that's the pages so i'm gonna have to really look at this the two of paths i wonder if this is oh no this is the lovers okay the two paths okay here we go ten of scepters the mistress of pentacles so the the scepters it seems like the the Minor arcana seems a bit pippish, but there's still lots, there's like background, there's lots of things going on. Um, oh, there's the Chariot of Osiris. Love that for the chariot with the two sphinxes. There's the Mistress of Swords, the Queen of Swords. The Master of Scepters. The Eight of Pentacles. So the Pentacles, their coins there. So you can see there's like a background going on. There's, oh, there is Swords. Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, this is, is this the sun? Yes, the sun, the beaming light. So they've changed some of the names of the major arcana, so I'm really going to have to look through this. Um, the Nine of Cups. So I don't mind um, decks that are pipish if the pips still have stuff going on in them. Um, I'm going to try and see if it's, and we've got sword scepters, like pentacles. Do we have any knights? Star, oh, this is the star. The warrior scepters. Okay, these are the knights, the warriors. Uh, let's see. There's, oh, I love this one. Love, love, love. Look at that. Look at that high priestess. That's awesome. The veil of her face and the two, um, the two pillars there. And then we've got the tower, Bishop Tower. Twilight. Oh, the moon. I like this moon with the two jackals and the white and black pyramid. That is lovely. So it is Rider Waite Smithish, um, but I kind of like that. Oh, I love this death. Look at this death. And I love the rainbow in the background because that adds to that whole resurrection thing. Okay. Huh. 22. The crocodile. Is this an additional one? I'm going to have to look. So it says 22 instead of 21, and it says the crocodile. And I wonder if that's like an addition, like an additional card, or if something else is going on here. Okay, so I'm going to keep looking through, show you some interesting ones. Oh, Typhon is the devil, which makes sense, because that's the beast that if you... There's this whole thing with the Book of Dead where um, in Egyptian beliefs, when you died... Um, you have to go through this. There's this whole process to go through. Um, basically, there's um, what's called the negative confession, where you have to go in front of a group of peers on the other side and say, I have not done this, I have not done this, I have not done this, and convince them. And then you go to the next level if you've convinced them, and then your heart is weighed on a scale against the feather of truth. And if your heart is pure, then it will be lighter or as light as a feather. And if not, then it'll be heavier. And if you're, so basically, if you're a bad person, then um, your you and your heart get thrown to Typhon and um, eaten. So there you go. That's a very rough version of it. Uh, just trying to see if any other cards are really cool. Oh, I like the Ten of Cups. That's really cool. The Minna Ring. Um, I don't know if I like the pages being the slave, so to speak. I mean, I understand, obviously, they have slaves. Um, four, the emperor is the cubic stone. Interesting. I'm really, actually, I, I really want to take a look at um, the, just like at the major arcana, kind of lay them all out and take a look at them, see how they've changed it. Because, um, it's very interesting. Oh, the hermit is the veiled lamp. Very cool. Oh, I'm wondering if this eight is justice or strength because it says the balance and the sword, which makes me think justice, especially with the scales. But then you've got this here, which makes me think strength. But I'm going to go with justice on this one. Uh, the Empress is Isis. 
This is the Hierophant. Ah, the victim is the Hangman. I don't know if that's a great name for it, but I'm going to work with it and see what I think. Magician. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, okay. So here we have 11. Um, so this is strength. We have the Tamed Lion. Okay, so very much. Oh, and then I like this. I love this Wheel of Fortune, the Sphinx. Very nice. This one echoes, this is the world, and it it um, echoes kind of the wheel, the one that we just saw, the crown of the magicians, 21. So that crocodile one is um, is like an extra card, so I'm really going to have to look at it, unless that's the fool, unless they've put 22 as the fool, which is possible. And I have not seen the fool yet, so I'm wondering about that. Yeah, so I'm guessing that... The crocodile is the fool. So I'm going to have to lay them all out and take a look at them as a whole because they obviously changed the names slightly different. Um, it is Rider Waite Smithish, but there is some differences. So I am definitely going to look at this. So thank you so, so much for this deck. Um, it looks amazing. And thank you for the, the wildflower seeds and for, um, and for the crystal as well, which is awesome. Thank you so much. I'm totally blown away and now I wish I would have known more. <laughs> Um, but I, you know, you know who you are. I hope that you enjoy the Tarot Illuminati and that you are getting something out of it. So, uh, thank you so much and I will see you all next time. Bye.